Hey, welcome to DEF CON. All right, we got Laura, water meter security analysis. This is your presenter, Jimmy. Give him a, give him a warm welcome. Thank you, everyone. Uh, first, uh, I'd like to clarify that this work is not only done by myself. It was done by many, done by my, my, my team, my team members. And one of the members, uh, because the U.S. consulate rejected him his, uh, of his visa, so he not, cannot be here. So, yeah. Uh, every year, we got speakers rejected uh, of the visa. I think uh, this young man might be... Uh, uh, big national security threat for the U.S. consulate. Okay, I'm going to record a short video for him to, to get him uh, what he feels to uh, present in front of such a huge bunch of uh, hackers. So, everybody? Oh, just, oh, oh sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> okay, let's shout out for Ethan Intel. His name is Intel, okay. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> yeah, every year I got many friends rejected. Uh, so let me quickly introduce my company and our team. Uh, my, my team is called Unicorn Team. We are doing wireless security, hardware security, and so on. And uh, we are from uh, the largest security company called 360 Security Technology in China. And uh, today I'm going to uh, present how the, the, the process we, we took to analyze this, this uh, so-called smart, smart water meter. So this is how it looks like in real life. So in, uh, on the left, you can see there is, it's like, just look like a normal water meter, but there is a dial. The red circle, so that's just like a magnet. So when when the water meter runs, the magnet will rotate, and there will be a, a magnet sensor on the, on another cover on the next slides. I will show you. And on the right is a, a solar panel, solar pa panel powered uh, gateway, which uh, just like relays the uh, water meter data. Uh, to the, the server, server uh, via the, the GPRS, but, but the communication, communication between this water meter and the gateway is using uh, LoRa, which, which is kind of a private priority, priority uh, yeah, protocol. And this is the uh, uh, camera of that water, water meter when you disassemble it. There is a circuit board, uh, and there is uh, an antenna, and also there, this is the gateway, which you can see there is a uh, uh, on this is a, a GPRS module and a LoRa transmission module. So this is the, uh, actually the parameters of the, and the models of the chips. So you can see there is a, an MCU, which is used to configure the uh, LoRa chip every time it pops up, because uh, this might be, um, so we will later introduce how we can uh, attack the communication between the uh, MCU and the LoRa module. And, and we have the antenna, antenna parameter and the battery. So, so this, uh, the way, why they are going to use this LoRa mm, communication because it's low power. So this uh, little battery can power it up to 10 years. So that's why they are using this. And uh, there is a horn uh, sensor to, like, to detect the rotation of the magnet, as, as I said here. So they, 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 I don't know if you can see it. There's a pointer or something? No. So, so uh, uh, there, there, there is a magnetic sensor called TMR301 that, that can, can detect the water meters uh, if, when it's running. And, and, and there is a MCU to configure, uh, MCU is here to configure this uh, normal uh, chip. chip. And, and this, this is a, a gateway discipline assembly, so, so there is a, a GPRS module here, uh, the, the white, white White, white a rectangle, and, and there, there is a NORA module. module. So, so it's, it's just, just like, like very typical architecture for an IoT device. device. And, and uh, there, there is a uh, uh, EP room, room for to, to store the, the data, the data the maybe to when it's in the GPRC, uh, to, to, to maybe buffer the, 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 the water meter data. data. 
and uh, actually, actually the, the gateway is usually, usually implementing the gateway using a different uh, chip, chip but they are using the same chip as the, uh, as the water meter so uh, they have to use because this is cheaper than to use another like chip dedicated to for the for the gateway Now let's talk about how we can like fix the uh, water meter data. So you can, as we said, that they're just you detecting the rotation of the magnet. So we can use a strong magnet to put it near the, the, the sensor TMR301 sensor to just to interfere the, the, the signal. So you can see when the magnet rotate the voltage uh, produced on the, the, the water meter, the, the, the sensor will, will change. So uh, we can use, um, you can see, if the, there's no point. Okay. So you, you can see that this, when the magnet is in, in this angle, there is a, uh, 400 millivolt voltage, and when it, the angle change, the, the voltage change accordingly. So uh, this is how they can detect the water meter when it's running. So we use a strong magnet to interfere with this uh, magnet, magnet field. So because the, the cover is a plastic, so it's, it's still working, so you can mm, mm, spoof the sensor data to see that we are, we are not using any uh, water. But this can be uh, caught if they go to your, come, come to your house and uh, actually take the uh, look at the, 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 the water meter. So that's one way to, to spoof the sensor data. And uh, another way is just to, just to dis dis disassemble it and uh, use a uh, like, voltage regulator to uh, spoof the the sensor voltage is the same, same effect. So the lower frequency is different uh, in each country. So this is, uh, for, for example, in the US is 915 uh, megahertz. So in, in the other countries, uh, it's different. So when you're trying to like re do research on this kind of NORA-based device, you have to uh, treat, uh, maybe tune your, your SDR device to that frequency to, in order to catch the signal. So this is the format of the packets. So you have this preamble, which will notifies the receiver that there's a packet coming, and you have this uh, up chirp, down chirp that are uh, encoding data. So, and uh, the, 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 actually there is a very pretty complex set of parameters you, you need to configure. So uh, when we do uh, wireless research, security research, we often use like STR. So we have to configure the parameters for, for, the, for, the, for the receiver or for the decoder. So mm, there are many sets, sets of configuration. So uh, actually uh, uh, researchers from the US company in Bastille, they are uh, doing required security, so they did something to like uh, to decode the NORA traffic, but the, we, we tried their, their code, but it's not working. I guess it's uh, because the configuration of the parameters are different, so we have to wrote our own uh, decoding code for for this uh, traffic. So actually, we um, one of our team member wrote uh, the the code to. Uh, you using MacLab to decode the traffic, and we upload it, it, this module to the, our GitHub. So if you are interested in doing some more research in the future, you can go to look at the code. But this is still not very easy to use, so uh, we, we switch to another method. So actually, uh, because I said, as I said, there is a MCU used to configure the NORA module every time it's, uh, it's powered on. So what it does is uh, using SPI serial communication to uh, configure the, the, the NORA module, uh, the, the, all the parameters, which frequency, the, uh, and the, the, the different uh, like spectrum factors, something like that. So we used the, the 
this logic analyzer to uh, capture the uh, traffic on the serial uh, communication uh, interface, and we got the we we can figure out how this uh, 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 NORA front and NORA transceiver is configured. So, and then we just go and buy another uh, NORA module and use the same configuration in order to receive the tra to decode the traffic. So, it's it's pretty. Uh, Smart, this kind of. So you have to, you know, once you got all the traffic on, on the serial co communication, you have to figure out what uh, those traffic means. So we got this. Uh, we figure out it by looking at the documentation where this is what kind of instruction means what. So for example, there this you, when you see this uh, traffic, it means that set the frequency to the. Uh, 492.25 megahertz. That's the frequency we mentioned in, in the previous slides where we say that we say that different countries are using different frequencies. So you can see this is uh, the Chinese frequency. Okay, we, now we got the configuration. So we use another module to configure it the same way. And we can see the traffic. Okay, so now we got the traffic. We have to reverse engineer the communication protocol and say to see what how they like transmit the data. Um, yeah, surprisingly, we find it not encoded. It's just in sent in plain text. Perhaps they think that Snora uh, communication is by itself is very hard to decode. So this they are using kind of like. Um, there is a priority uh, protocol. So there is a unique ID of each uh, water meter. And uh, actually, we can uh, spoof all the traffic here. And uh, they are transmitting the, the, the water usage data and uh, also the temperature. So, so let's uh, see if. Uh, the privacy privacy risks. For example, if I see that uh, there is no water usage because the, the, the water usage data is sent in is transmitted in plain text, so we can actually save the data to say if somebody is at, at home using their uh, water meter, and uh, or so we can actually profile the habits of this uh, user. Uh, so, so to say, if uh, his working routine when he comes home and when he leaves uh, for work, something like that, and uh, we can also like like spoof the data to make somebody like see where we can see that they are using a lot of water and get their overcharged, and uh, we can also for the uh, for the. Uh, Gateway to issue instructions, for example, you, uh, because of this is like the four duplex communication, uh, this is like the two-way communication. So not only the water meter have to uh, upload water usage data, but also the, 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 the server might issue some command to the to the water meter. So uh, we and the, and also the NORA is not only used in. Uh, water meter, so you, you, they are using used to control gas valves or other like, um, just like you can think of it like like the similar, similar like GPRS or ZB, they can be used anywhere to to build a connected device. So we if we can uh, like, uh, get traffic or through the traffic, we can cause uh, other chaotic uh, consequences. So this is uh, uh, all who, like how the, 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 the communication links works. So the water meter uh, actually uh, sends the data to the gateway, and the NORA gateway uh, to transmit send the data to the server using GPRS. And GPRS, everybody knows that the traffic is that that that. That communication link is not safe. Everybody maybe can sleep or spoof the traffic. So we can use like fake base station to uh, to, to, spoof, to, to to attack the to do the man in the middle or to just spoof the, the gateway. And the 
So this is uh, my colleague trying to uh, uh, sleep the GPIS traffic. So we set up this uh, base station open using BT, uh, open BTS, and uh, we managed to get this uh, gateway to communicate to our fake base station. And actually, this is very common kind of attack in, especially in China. So people are using maybe like like uh, uh, this GPS to unlock shared bugs. So people are using trying to spoof the uh, unlock command to make the bike open itself. Yeah. So we are doing that. This is kind of very common common techniques. So when we, we got, got the, the uh, when we when when got, got the base fake base station set up and the the what gate we connect to our fake base station, we can see what data it it send is sending to the uh, to the server. And then we use we analyze it using Wireshark and to and, and to reverse engineer the the, 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 the protocol used to between the gateway and the server. So, so this, this is uh, uh, how the, 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 the traffic looks look like. So you can see there's a g uh, gateway ID, there's a header and counter count code, and also payload. So all kind of uh, information. Again, it's not it's not encrypted. It's just using a uh, CRC to 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 check the integrity of this packet. So. So, so we, we can, can actually, uh, as I said, we can like spoof the gateway to transmit fake water meter data, uh, water use data to the server. So let's take a look at the overall uh, communication link, the water meter to the gateway, gateway to the server, and uh, so we have uh, reverse engineered the. Uh, two communication link, and uh, they're using all, all kind of prep, two, two prep, proprietary uh, communication protocol. So uh, the one is over LoRa protocol, uh, over LoRa, and another one is using uh, over GPRS. So let's once again to see this a whole like test environment. We have this magnet to interfere with the magnet sensor. We have this. Uh, an, a dual module, module used, used to, to uh, configure the uh, module, the uh, NORA module we used to sleep the traffic, traffic because, because we have like reverse engineering the com com configuration process of the uh, M M M MCU to the to the to the uh, NORA module, so we can use a dual to, to, to configure our module to sleep the traffic. And uh, the next step is to, to like using Open BTS to reverse to analyze the uh, communication between the server and the uh, gateway. So, con so in con conclusion, that the, uh, we can see that. The, So, so there are, once, once again, again, we can, can like sleep in user, user privacy data to profile this user, and, and, and we can uh, actually uh, to mm, forge the, the data in each stage, stage the NORA stage, where the, the, the water meter uh, communication with the gateway. We can spread traffic between the gateway and the server. So actually, we we uh, we we have to like every time we we, we break something, we have to figure out, out a way to actually remediate or just to to, to remediate it. So this uh, is using Nora W um, Nora um, uh, Van protocol. This protocol is brought up by Nora Alliance and. Uh, uh, So, 
So we can use, for example, to prevent the data from being uh, spoofed or forged, we can use message integrity, like maybe like hash maps, use like based on some kind of encrypting, encryption key to check the integrity of the packets. We can also use some the, like encryption. Uh, I think the, the, why, why, why didn't they use encryption in the first place is because this is like quite a uh, low-power application, and the encryption may, take, may consume, has consumed a lot of power. So that's why they didn't like encrypt the water meter in the first place, or they just like think uh, I like obscurity, like, like security, security, something like that. They think the LoRa is hard to decode. The, it's, it's not like the GPRS that you can easily like, like to, to sweep the traffic. So, so we can we prove that this is not possible. We can still like get to traffic. So they have to improve the, the security by encrypting uh, the traffic in each state. So we, we have this. Uh, this is actually the LoRa uh, the, uh, standard by LoRa Alliance, and everybody can look at it. They, they are, there are like the security measures, but it seems that they are not following it. So we, so anybody has and have any questions? We, this, this is a ref reference. The, the past year research they have done a great job by like proof. Providing people with uh, the code to decode the uh, NORA traffic, and then we have this uh, uh, all kind of visuals, resources. So, anybody has, has questions? Or no? Okay, you you. Uh, okay, I will, I will try my best to, to answer your question. Okay. Sure. How can the company protect their infrastructure? Uh, you, you already deployed infrastructure. How can they protect that? Yeah. I don't think they can, they can actually do that because usually when you use this kind of communication, you don't implement some kind of over-the-air update mechanism, so you have to like maybe replace the infrastructure. So you have to think of security in the first place. Or yeah, they just like, for example, the magnet stuff, you, you, you can change the plastic cover in, uh, to uh, like metal metal cover, and so that would be uh, prevent uh, somebody use to interfere with the magnet sensor using a strong magnet. So if, if somebody don't want to pay water fee, they just put, put this magnet on the water meter so it's not running, so yeah. So any, anybody else has a question? Okay, thank you.